Hello and welcome back. Good afternoon. We are on our way to my doctor's appointment for my mammogram and my ultrasound. So I've been uh, worried about it all weekend, obviously. Just tired of wondering. Hopefully I can find out today. Hopefully I'll get an answer today. I don't know if I will. Um, but yeah, so we had to come to a, another side of town to where my appointment is. So Mark and I ate lunch over here and then um, we're getting ready to go to my appointment now. I'm gonna check in and I'll give you guys an update after my appointment's over. Emma has the dogs picking up Ellie from school because the AC broke at the school so all the kids are dying so they're all going home. So Emma's picking them, picking her up with the dogs and then um, we have some people at the house today so we all kind of have to stay gone um, till 3. So whatever. I have my appointment. I wanted him to come. I don't know. My mom said they might decide, they could decide to poke and prod and they, I don't know. So I don't, we don't know if I'm like going to a, just a, like a lab type place or if this is like a doctor's slash lab. If it's like a doctor's slash lab, then they could poke and prod today. What a, I don't know. I'm not even getting into it because I'm tired of worrying about it. But I'm 10 minutes away from my appointment and I'll update you guys. And the girls are also vlogging, so. With the dogs. Yeah, <laughs> with the dogs. And she put Stitch in the car first and I was on FaceTime, so she left the phone in there and I'm going, Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. He's screaming because Stitch got to go. So when he got up on her desk and was looking at the phone to try to figure out where I was coming from. But anyways, I gotta tell Mark how to get here. So I'll see you back when my appointment is over. My heart's fluttering, by the way. Welcome back to a, another video. The dogs just wanted to say hi, but our parents just left. I am in charge of them for like three hours. We have an inspection on the house and I have to pick my sister up from school, so these two get to come with me. I don't know how that's gonna go, sitting in the car for three hours, but um, yeah, it should be fun. It should be <laughs> pretty, pretty exciting for Stitch at least because anytime he sees a person, he automatically screams. So I don't really know how well we're gonna do in the school parking lot, but you know, we'll make it work. <laughs> um, the reason why I have to pick up my sister is because my mom has a very important doctor's appointment today and Mark's going with her obviously, so we are the grown up adult today. We're, we're taking charge with the dogs and then my sister and then Ellie also has work today too. So it's kind of chaotic for everyone else. I'm just here to help with <laughs> what everyone else needs. So um, yeah, I am okay with that though because I get to spend time with the doggies. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Is that how you feel? Okay. I think we heard you. Yeah. Let's use our inside voices. Well, we are in the car. There's Winnie. There's Stitch looking for people. I have my AC blaring, obviously, because they're dogs and they get really hot. But um, I'm currently waiting at Ellie's school to pick her up. She should be coming out pretty soon actually and then it's currently 1.15 and I think we'll probably just go and grab some lunch and then hopefully by that time we can go home. I was gonna go home even though they're there till 3 but they also have to inspect me and Ellie's room so we would have to like switch the dogs back and forth and I just don't want to do that. Since they're in the car already we're just gonna stay in the car until 3 and then head back. Uh, but I don't know where we're gonna grab lunch. We'll see what Ellie kind of wants, but they're doing good. Um, I put a blanket down, I brought their dog beds, I laid down my back seats. Oh, good good boy, Winnie. It's a good boy. <laughs> oh, just, and Stitch is just looking for people to scream at, so. There was a little boy that came out and Stitch just went berserk. Winnie just kind of like freaks out. 
Um, he isn't much of a screamer, which I'm thankful for, but um, <laughs> we'll see how this goes for the next two hours. <laughs> okay guys, we got Ellie and we just ate lunch. We decided on Chick-fil-A, so we drove all the way to Chick-fil-A. I didn't agree. You literally did. I wanted Bushido. Says you that smashed a sandwich. <laughs> so we just finished our lunch. It's currently at 2.09. The dogs are doing good. They finally calmed down. Uh, we gave them some fries, you know, for being good boys. But it literally looks like it's about to pour. I, on the other hand, need to drive back into town. I need to pick up my prescription. I just had to refill my birth control, so that's done. Um, so I have to go to the Walgreens where we live. And then hopefully by that time, it should be three o'clock. I don't know if our parents are home yet, but they're probably still there because they won't be done till three, they said, so. Um, Where are they at? They're at her doctor's appointment. But I'm kind of debating, we're in like a secluded area in the Target parking lot and there's like grass. I'm debating on if I should let the dogs out and go to the bathroom because they haven't been potty. They haven't been to the bathroom. I'll take Winnie out. We haven't. I just don't want to stress them out again, but it's shaded. There's grass. They can go potty. So there's no people. Stitch won't freak out. So I think we might do that because they probably have to go potty from being stressed. And I know definitely Winnie has to go. So we're gonna we're gonna try and let them go potty. You guys want to go potty? Winnie, Winnie, yeah. come here. Okay, just let the dogs out. Stitch went. Winnie did not. He would not go. He's too excited and just all over the place. So he'll hold it, obviously. But Sigi went potty, and when he's just a puppy, and he was literally more excited to be outside than he was to go to the bathroom. So, anyways, we'll keep you guys updated. Okay, I am home from my mammogram. Girls are home from taking the dogs for three hours. Um, and yeah, I'm just ready to get back to normal. My results are positive. They are a cyst and they're non-cancerous. This means if you're a woman, the age of 40, you better be getting mammograms. I never did. So yeah, any baby. So yay. Anyways, um, so we are just gonna vlog for the day. My personality is a little bit back. My streams will probably be a little bit more upbeat. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash Heather Delucio. Um, we have a lot of fun over there. We do a lot of fun things. We're gonna play some custom games and stuff this weekend with you guys, but yeah. So if you want to go over and follow, that's where to go. They'll be a little bit better. They kind of were down in the dumps this weekend because I was down in the dumps. I was a little worried, uh, a little paranoid about this whole breast exam, but it's over now. I can breathe, I can sleep now. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. So we're gonna continue with our fantabulous day and I'm actually gonna make dinner tonight, so. Well, let's get busy. We are back home and it is 3.38. So we, well, I was out for literally almost four hours um, with the dogs, but I did pick up my birth control, just opened my new pack. And then I got two other packs. This is the birth control that I take. Um, I know there's a lot of side effects, but I feel like I haven't had any. So this is probably something I'll stay on for a, a long time, obviously, because I have to. And then yesterday, I actually just picked up some scar treatment for the scars, well, like the incisions, so they don't scar. They look really good, and I had to wait three weeks to put anything on them. It's been three weeks, so I have this, like, rolly pen thing, and then these patches. Everyone says that the patches are really good, so, um, and I just did the generic brand. There's this, like, there's this one scar brand that's like really good everyone recommends it but it was like 40 bucks for like two sheets <laughs> so i just did this in hopes that it does the same thing because this was a lot cheaper um but yeah i actually found out that i have like six more refills of this which is nice so that's good and each refill i get three packs so this will last me three months which is good so um 
got that done. The dogs are finally home. They're chilling. And yeah, that's kind of what I had to do today. Really, just pick up my sister up from school and then handle the dogs. But parents are home. I have plans tonight with a girlfriend. I'm going over to her house to have like a fall night. I'm gonna pick up some fall snacks, probably like the small sugar cookies with the pumpkin on them and just anything like pumpkin fall related. Unfortunately, we don't have fall PJs. That is something that I've never, I have Christmas PJs, <laughs> but I never have like fall PJs. And it's not like you can wear like a comfy sweater because it's so hot, but I do have a fall blankie that I'll bring. <laughs> um, so I'm going over to her house around like 6.30. So that's kind of what my day is gonna be like today. I'm gonna shower because my hair is really greasy. That's why it's in this. And just head over to Publix beforehand. And, and we're also eating dinner there. Her mom's making some food. So I'm excited about that. And that's my day. Took a shower, I changed. This is what I'm wearing to my friend's house. This is as fall as it's gonna get. <laughs> I don't have anything fall related or Halloween. I have like a Halloween t-shirt, but I always like wearing a sweatshirt, especially watching a movie. So I'm gonna run and stop at Publix and pick up some snacks. I have to leave now because she is kind of far because there is five o'clock rush hour and it's like an hour drive. On a good day, it's like 25, 30 minutes, so <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. But just wanted to say I'm leaving and I'll see you guys later, bye. All right guys, I'm making dinner. We are having either boiled potatoes or mashed potatoes, not sure. But we're gonna fill that up. And then we're having chicken breast seasoned with garlic, and I'll show you the seasoning. But this guy is called a meat stick. You put an app on your phone. It is the coolest thing. You put it in any meat. You select what kind of meat, how you're cooking it, grill, oven, fry, or whatever. Put that sucker in and it tells you when your meat is done. So it's not overcooked, not undercooked. It is perfect. Anyways, you set your oven to whatever temperature. I'm doing uh, 375. So you set that as well and then it tells you your temperature so yeah i don't i think we're gonna have uh corn or green beans with it but that is what we're eating for dinner is emma here no is ellie here no <laughs> this is why i struggle making dinner because i end up making all i buy like enough chicken to feed emma Obviously, her boyfriend and Ellie, me, Mark, Ellie, Emma, her boyfriend, see what I'm saying? But then, they're not here. So when I have to cook the chicken, or the chicken's gonna go bad, or whatever, they're never here. So we're gonna have tons of leftover chicken. I'll just make chicken tostadas or something tomorrow. We will use it, it won't go to waste, but it's just crazy that I'm making that amount of chicken, and nobody's eating with us. Ellie will eat when she gets home, so. Anyways, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, I decided with boiled potatoes smashed with butter, corn, and chicken. And look at that chicken. Mm -mm, it smells delish. Hello, guys. I am home. So my plans were really fun. We watched Halloween Town High, which I believe... Actually, I don't know. It's the third one, maybe? No, the fourth one? I don't know. Um, I honestly forgot that they even had that movie. I hadn't watched that specific Halloween Town movie in forever. Um, I didn't realize that I've seen it until like halfway through the movie. Yeah, it's like, oh wait, this looks this looks and sounds so familiar. But um, that's the movie that we watched. We made um, cookies. I also brought like Reese cups and then pumpkin cupcakes, but we didn't eat those. So. <laughs> um, and then her mom also made dinner. We had like a casserole, a salad. I tried Italian dressing for the first time tonight and I actually really, really liked it. I feel like if I was to get a salad at a restaurant that didn't have ranch, I would get Italian. It was good, I really liked it. And then also like breaded chicken, which was fantastic. So that was my night, now I'm home. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I think today was just kind of 
all over the place with like things going on, the inspection, then my dogs, the doctor's appointment. Did I say my dogs? I meant the dogs. I don't know what I said, but I'm tired, so <laughs> ignore that. So anyways, I will see y'all very soon to back more videos. Bye guys.